And today I want to talk about using some templates that uh, template pages that OneNote has made for you. From time to time you may need something other than just a default blank note paper that goes forever uh, down. You can just go and go and go. If you notice here, if you look at the print preview here, even though that's showing one page there, if you go to print preview on that particular page, this is the default here. Uh, it's actually going to two pages. Well, there's when it prints out, you're not exactly sure unless you you know put your spaces in there where they need to be at. You're not exactly sure where it's going to cut off one and start printing for a second page. So there's going to be times when you're not going to want to use this. You're going to want to actually have it where it will print out nicely, you know, page after page. For example, let me go here and uh, let's look at the algorithm uh, page I have here. You notice the algorithm page does not complete to your right going white. And there's an ending down there, down at the bottom. That's because it is your standard letter uh, page. And if you'll see, sh I'll show you here. This is what I selected, that right there. It makes a letter page. That way, when you print your notes, you have a stopping point primarily here at the bottom. So you can start a new page. Okay, that's how, how you uh, always get your print size pages right. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Another thing that I have used for is from time to time I need to graph. You notice my graph here. This graph here I made as a uh, a template, one of my templates. You'll you'll see here if I click up here under my templates, you'll see 640 by 480. What I did, I drew, and this is a scale. It's a scale for uh, graphing things that I need for my computer programming class. It happens to be the size of the window, 640 by 480 of the computer programming software that I use. So I got this. So anytime I need to graph something for that window, I got a scale down here, I can just click that. Or if I just need a blank graph, you can find these graphs. You, it, it doesn't say graph under your blank templates. What it does say is it says grid, I believe. Uh, let me just look here. Yeah, small grid. Okay, there's small grid right there. I went ahead and put that up here for quick access. I just call it graph. It creates me a blank graph. So that's how you could set a template. And uh, let's say you wanted to take this blank graph and you wanted to draw something on it, make it a template. Well, then you could just save that particular one again. Uh, I'm not going to say I had already saved it once, but you would just simply type in graph to get like I have right here. And if you wanted it to be the default page that shows up every time you hit new page, you would just check that box right there. Obviously, I don't want to set that as my default page. I use many types of pages. So that's how you uh, use a graphing template. That's how you use a letter size template for printing purposes. And I hope this has helped someone. Have a good day.